Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for the month of January 2024. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate. Alright, so you have the overall energy as the Queen of Swords. You have the Two of Cups. You have Fortune, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Three of Wands. All right, so overall energy, I feel that there is a relationship that is destined. Um, there is a connection that you're having with someone. And I feel that you guys are soulmates. Um, either you are already in this relationship or this is someone that uh, you've been thinking about um, or have recently crossed paths with. Uh, but I, I feel that, you know, there's a purpose like you guys came together for a reason and it's kind of like it was like divine timing whatever happened um if you study astrology i feel like there is something about um the transits in the sky were taking place um that was favorable to opening up an opportunity for the two of you to meet or to interact with each other in some way. Um, so you could be dealing with an air sign or possibly a Taurus. And it just seems like there's this opportunity uh, waiting for you. Um, or waiting for the both of you, but there's also some sort of resistance. If you're already in this relationship, something's going on where boundaries are being pushed. And I feel like some kind of commitment coming on. Maybe one of you wants commitment and the other one doesn't. Now on the downside, it is possible that the reason why a relationship can't go forward is because one of you is already in a relationship. Um, but it's like you, it seems like fate. It's like, well, why did I meet this person if they're in a relationship? Um, so yeah, not sure why, but it is it's for a reason. Hmm. I feel like ultimately you are just kind of open to the possibilities uh, or you are being optimistic about a future between you and this person. I feel like you're open to seeing what happens, especially too if initially you were resistant towards some sort of love connection. Whatever takes place this month, something happens to give you more of an open mind. Now I'm getting something going on with traditional relationships and what they mean to you compared to what society says tradition is. I'm getting one of those situations where I'm getting uh, something that seems tradition but unusual an unusual committed relationship mm. it could be that there is a couple that has an arrangement it's like yeah we're committed to each other 
but we have this arrangement. We're free to do X, Y, Z. Um, as long as, as it falls within uh, the constructs of this arrangement here. Mm. I feel like whoever is in your life or coming into your life, they're going to bring a sense of security to you. They're going to give you some kind of stability uh, or some sort of foundation that you're wanting in your life. Seems like something might be the key to something working. I don't know what it is, but maybe this person holds the key to what you've been looking for. Something is going to be like a gamble. But I feel like a gamble that can pay off. Now, there still could be some sort of concerns about a relationship um, as far as you or this person concerned about their reputation, their status, or how things look to their family. Maybe someone has uh, a set of traditions that they wanted to keep in place, but you don't really fit into that box, but yet they feel a sense of security with you. So either way, I feel that somebody's uh, faith is gonna be tested when it comes to relationships or your traditions um, are gonna be put to the, to the test. I feel like someone also might reveal a secret to you, or maybe you're going to uh, reveal a secret to somebody. Hmm. I feel like something also has to come natural. Something can't be forced. And when the time is right, it's going to happen. Um, you can't force somebody to share something with you. It's just going to happen when they feel... Uh, the time is right. And I'm getting something like a countdown, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So I don't know if something is like a final countdown before it happens. Hmm. Also, something's going to be confirmed. Like you thought you weren't sure about something, but then you get your confirmation. If someone is very personal or private, they're going to give you some sort of access to their life once they trust you. All right, so hopefully these messages help. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending love and grace.